Salam, salam. Coming to you uh, in this day of uh, the 10th day of uh, Adar. And it's 5777. Being the year, uh, we're actually in uh, the month of March 10th, uh, 2017. And what I want to do is uh, come forth with the, uh, the man child because what happens is in New Orleans, Louisiana, through Louisiana, uh, we get to see the uh, rainbow, uh, the circle that goes around the moon that appeared uh, on last night. So this is a great sign according to uh, Revelation chapter 12. And... Uh, It deals with the woman clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. The moon is under her feet. Jerusalem is that woman. But something very significant is going on in this period of time because also in which is called the, uh, the ring of fire where the volcanoes actually erupt at, we have five major volcanoes that in, that, that actually uh, erupt on my Facebook page L'Oreal L-O-R-I-O M-O-T-E-N L-O-R-I-O M-O-T-E-N towards that afternoon what I do is I post Isaiah chapter 66 and I put up uh, verse 7 behold excuse me before she travail it she brought forth before her pain came she was delivered of a man child she was delivered of a man child be in jerusalem jerusalem in revelation chapter 12 it talks about also this woman travailing and she brings forth a man child she brings forth a man child in uh isaiah chapter 66 verse 80 says who had heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. This is a great thing that's going on. The revelation of the, uh, the woman bringing forth the man child. A man child being a deliverer, being a messiah of God people who is going to help uh redeem them and uh bring them back to the promised land my brothers and my sisters we must recognize that god is making signs in the heavens god is making signs in the earth and right there on my facebook l'oreal moten l-o-r-i-o m-o-t-e-n you can actually see Isaiah 66 verse 7 is posted Isaiah 8 is posted and I make reference to Revelation chapter uh, 12 dealing with the woman and the man child and what God does is which is very significant he causes for uh, that night for the uh, the moon to receive a ring around it that means that the enemy is defeated that means the enemy is defeated. Also, we get the uh, the, the ring of fire, the uh, eruptions of the uh, volcanoes. We, we got the earthquakes going off. That's the travailing of the woman. That is the travailing of the woman. Women, when you bring forth a child it has to pass through the canal it has to pass through that ring of fire your travail it has to pass through that and once the child actually comes through once that head enter and, and, and goes through and begins to peek out guess what it's being crowned it is being crowned so this is a significant sign of the man child God is signifying to those who of of uh, of Zion, 
those who he have brought forth, those who he have educated, because the scripture actually show that he has, uh, she brought forth her children. So that means that they're educated. They're on the right track. God is actually bringing this sign over and over that the elders, that they would uh, actually realize and recognize who that man child is. Who that man child is. Very important because the children are brung forth. Also, the man child is brung forth of this woman. Who is that woman? That's Zion. That's Jerusalem. Hosea chapter 1, verse 11 tells us Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. So God says that the children of Judah, because they have uh, been brought forth by the woman, the children of Israel, because they have been brought forth by the woman, that means that they're educated in the word of God, but God says there's something that you lack. And God says, and appoint themselves one head. God says there's one leader. God gets specific with this. God says that and they should come up out of the land. So where are the children of Israel? Where is this place that God is pinpointing? Where the children of Israel are educated. They have come forth. They know the word of God. But he's saying there's something that you're lacking. The lacking is that there's a man child. That there's a Messiah that the Most High God wants you to anoint. Jeremiah chapter 23. I'm going to bring you to Jeremiah 23. Because him whom God has chosen has the education and has the precepts, has the word of God that he may teach to his brothers. Rev uh, excuse me, Jeremiah chapter 23 says in verse 5, Behold, the days come, said the Yahweh, Jehovah, that I will raise up, I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely safely so the man child is actually in the earth realm being king david's seed actually uh praying for the deliverance of his people not only that but the his people would recognize him and this is his name whereby he shall be called the yahweh jehovah our righteousness therefore behold the days come said to the yahweh jehovah that they shall no more say they shall no more say remember in hosea chapter 1 verse 11 he says and then shall they come up out of the land he says that they shall no more say the yahweh living which brought up the children of israel out of the land of egypt you're not going to say it anymore that they shall no more say the yahweh living which brought up the children of israel out of the land of egypt what why 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 that won't be uh, recognized, I'm talking about, in the memory of the people of God anymore. Because God is going to do something greater. But we will still have it in our possession to know this. But God's saying because something greater is going to happen. In verse 8, he says, But the Yahweh liveth, which brought up, in which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. Who is the north country? That's North America, people. That's North America. Then he says, and from all countries, whether I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. See, this is the place. North America, God said, I'm going to ordain I'm going to ordain the man child. The heavens are testifying. The earth is testifying. As a woman, when a child comes forth out of a woman, he's crowned by the crowning of her vagina. That's the crowning. Go to your medical records. Go to the medical studies on the birthing of a child and what it is actually called. He passes and when he passes through, he's crowned as he is coming. This is what the earth is testifying. 
This is what is testifying right now. And the Most High wants his actual living, thinking beings, being of the children of Israel, who the woman has brought forth, to recognize and realize that you're missing something. God said you have to anoint my man child. You have to anoint King David C. right here in North America. You must recognize who he is. I encourage everybody to go to L'Oreal Moten, L-O-R-I-O-M-O-T-E-N, L-O-R-I-O-M-O-T-E-N, and actually witness just in February itself all the things that the Most High God has been doing. Let me read it again. Jeremiah 23, verse 8. But the Yahweh liveth, Jehovah liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries, whether I have driven them and they shall dwell in their own land. A very key point when it comes to Jeremiah 23, uh, verse 19 and 20. He says, Behold, a whirlwind being a tornado, uh, uh, a water spout, uh, strong storms, uh, tsunamis, uh, uh, we're dealing with the, the pressure of the, the, the blowing, the gust of the wind, uh, dealing with the storm system. We're, we're dealing with also uh, typhoons, hurricanes, fire natos. God says, behold, a whirlwind of the Yahweh is going forth with fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Yahweh shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. Then he said, in the latter days, being the end times, ye shall consider it perfectly. Who is that person that actually considers it? That's the Moshiach. That's Messiah ben David that actually considers it because he is the one that God is actually uh, allowing to announce this. All the storms that are going on across United States of North America. Before it went rapidly, I'm already putting it up as the Most High said that it would come over and over and over and that it would increase because it, it is the Moshiach, Messiah ben David, that considers it. And God shows us in Jeremiah 23 and also 30 and 23 and 24 that he will not stop doing this. Why he's not going to stop doing this? Because the children of Israel must return back to their homeland. That's the Negroes, that's the Latinos, that's the Native American Indians that are in the, uh, the Western Hemisphere. But we have brothers that are in the Eastern Hemisphere. My people, we have to do what the Most High God has called us for to do. The time is getting short. There's a lot of information on my Facebook. The Most High God is confirming a lot of things. We got to wake up to what the Most High want us to do. There has to be an anointing of the Moshiach. And you're looking at it. You don't believe it? How do you recognize a Moshiach? A Messiah? When the Spirit of the Most High God rested upon him in everything that he says is coming to pass. And heaven is actually helping him. Heaven is confirming everything that he is writing and everything that he's speaking of. The Most High God is bringing these things to pass. I'm talking about before a week is up. He's bringing it to pass rapidly as I put it up on Facebook over and over and over so my brothers my sisters the most high god show that you are already brung forth come forth and do what the most high god has given you for the do you can read you can reach me breath of revelation ministry at gmail.com breath of revelation ministry that's all together at gmail.com Shalom, my brothers. The sound of the shofar is blowing. Shalom, 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 and happy feast of Purim.